Uh, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Episode 24 of Couch Talk Podcast. If you go to enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to get updated when a new video drops on the channel. I'm your co-host, Sam Wise, and this is... Jackson, Jack, Jack, Jackson Harmon. Okay, and we are pretty much in the same clothes, same day. We just did a short 30-minute podcast last time, and probably another 30-minute podcast this time. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. And let's kick it off. What our life is. Sorry, what was uh, that? Nothing. Uh, I, let me full screen this, this dude. Uh, I said, it kind of sucks that we can only do two, like, 20, 30 minute podcasts, but that's just life. If you want, we can do longer, because usually I feel like this is, my, this, pers- this is just my personal observation. You don't love doing too many podcasts. So I try to do this in your favor, but I would be down to do a full podcast now. Yeah, I would love to do that. I... Um, yeah, I'd be down to do a full podcast, but only one full podcast at a time, like an hour length. Because I couldn't, I'm not that, I'm, I'm an energetic person, but I'm not that kind of person that, will continuously have long recorded conversations like this. I mean, that's not that's very specific, but I am not, I'm not that kind of person that can just keep talking and talking and talking. Eventually, I will get tired and run out of things to say, frankly. All right, well, anyway, let's do a great podcast because we let down our viewers many, many times. But now... Let's hop into it. No going on phones. No showing YouTube videos. Just yummy conversations. Did you say yummy conversations? I did. I did. <clears throat> and speak with some energy. Because <laughs> we've only been doing this for half an hour. You should not be tired. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Alright, so what to talk about? Um, I'm actually going to Geneva, um, uh, Geneva, which is in Michigan. Yes, Michigan. It's about a 90-minute, two-hour drive, not too far. And I'm staying, I believe, for six days and five nights at the Grand Geneva Hotel. Um, it's, it's a good hotel, but it's not, like, crazily expensive. It's probably no more than 200 a night because we're staying for, like, five nights. Um, but it should be a lot of fun. I can't wait to go swimming in that pool again. I'm not sure because of COVID I can do it, but it's okay. Um, and I'm overall just really excited for it, so it's going to be a great time. And they got this diner called Grandma's, and I always got the chips and mini corn dogs, and it was just bomb. So I'm super That excited. sounds really good right now. Chips and mini corn dogs? The Lay's, not the Lay's, but just like overall kettle cooked. Yeah. Boss on a new cool. level. Pendulum, they had some really good, they had good chips. Huh? At Pendulum, they had really good chips. They were really healthy, too. It was, like, the ingredients of, like, potatoes, salt, and, like, I don't know. Canola oil? Canola oil. Oh, yeah, not canola. Yeah, um, Pendulum had good food. I mean, the fig bars just hit different. I never had a fig bar, but. That's upsetting. Might have been good, but either way. It would have uh, been speaking amazing. Of hotel, speaking of hotel, I don't know if I've worn this shirt yet, but I got this shirt that says um, the Grand Overlook Hotel, uh, Colorado Rocky Step. It's pretty nice. Is that a, that's wait? That's not a, is that's not a shining reference, is it? Or it that's is? a shining reference. Overlook Hotel. I <laughs> thought it was because I or I thought maybe it was a play on it, but like it wasn't a, a full reference. Because I thought you would have started with that, not just with, like, in the ho- a hotel, but, yeah. No, no, it's, of course it's a Shining reference. Sorry, I thought uh, the uh, Grand Overlook could have been something. Because uh, I thought it was just the Overlook Hotel. I guess it was the Grand Overlook Hotel. No, it, it is called the Overlook Hotel. Um, but it just says Grand here as, like, Whoa, it's the Grand Overlook Hotel. Like, you don't, like, when you say, um, like, and these are the, this is, uh, I don't know, but it's like, this is the, uh, Grand.
grand John Hancock building. They don't cut. They don't. The grand isn't in the name. It's just you know as an as a um, adjective. I think is as it is. Okay. Cool. I understand. Um. Okay. Let's see. Um. I think the worst thing you want on a podcast and or radio is dead air. Like that happened a lot last podcast. In dead air is just silence. That's not good entertainment. It's horrible. I mean, if only we could get together more and do more challenges. I mean, the best, I think one of my favorite videos that we've made is Kubrick is a Mastermind. That one was a really good podcast and concoction video. (laughs) That was a really good video. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. We can can meet up. I said, like, sleep over August 10th and we're down. That would be great. Down the deep. We should, you know, maybe if you could, um, one more send off before camp. We could uh, we could grab lunch. We could like walk to uh, Dairy Queen. They got bomb hot dogs. I mean, well, so listen to me. Um, listen, listen to this. <coughs> oh. <coughs> um, so on Tuesday, Tuesday, not not. This not this past Tuesday, but the other Tuesday on the twentieth. That was my birthday. So after we went to the bookstore and got pizza and whatever, um, not from the bookstore, but we got pizza. And then we went to the bookstore. Um, we went to Dairy Queen, right? Um, we're standing in the line, and I went and I said to my dad, um, "How good do you think the food here is?" And he's like, "Oh, it's horrible." And then. Um, he said something like, do as the Romans do. You get ice cream at an ice cream place, and you get burgers and hot dogs at a burger and hot dog place. And he said the food there was literally, he said the food there at Dairy Queen was horrible. Well, and you I, guys are just rich. You guys, you, you guys get all the best food. Like, when you go to a restaurant, you get, like, a big burger. Oh, yeah, and I get, like, the yeah. chicken fingers because everyone knows that poor food is always better. Trust me, it's really good. Your dad has no taste. No offense, of course. I believe, I believe you, Sam. I believe that the food could be good, but I, I do still stand by my dad's statement, do as the Romans do. Um, I think that's the right phrase. I don't know, but it's like get, get the food at get, – get the food where the food – where the place is known for. Like get burgers at yeah. a burger. Don't get salad at a burger place. So, Probably going to be absolutely horrible. So, are are you working toward the point? Hmm? Are you working towards a point? Because I asked you if you wanted to go there, and you never really. You're just hating on the food. Yeah, um, I do believe you. I think the food can be good. Um, That's not. I I asked if you could go if you want to go there. Well, yeah, we could totally go there. Um, I don't and, know when. But we probably could like we could walk there at say eleven thirty. They open at eleven thirty, but like we could just I could m- meet you at your house and we could just walk there. You mean today? Yes, for lunch. Cause you're leaving. I mean, aren't you leaving? You're leaving Sunday the first, correct? Uh, yes, I am leaving on Sunday. And like, what is? Sunday. What exactly is? What? Today's the thirtieth. Yes. I mean, we could do it for lunch or dinner tomorrow, but I think okay. it would be more, you know, suitable for you if you want to go today. I don't know. I mean, we have, uh, um, we have some of our uh, neighbors' kids coming over for some reason. I don't know. I was just told this morning that um, some of our neighbors' kids were coming over to hang around or whatever. I don't know. Are they? So, Maybe tomorrow will work. I'll have to try and organize that. Because remember, um, I do have CrossFit tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Um, but, yeah, that could, that could totally work. Um, then tomorrow probably wouldn't work. For, Unless you want to do it for dinner. We could walk there, like, later tonight at, like, 4.35. Uh, maybe. maybe. Um, oh, yeah, um, that's what I was going to say. Sam, it, well... Ah. Are these neighbor kids your age? Cause I you're I thought you would say like friends. Uh no, they're um 
one of them is my brother's age, um, so nine years old, and the other one is his sister, which is seven years old. So they're pretty young. Oh, I don't think your mom would care if you leave. I mean, if you want to hang around. No, those. probably not. No, probably not at all. Um, that looks good. Sure, I mean, I could try and organize that, but yeah, that would totally work. Um, also, here's the thing. Sam always says that the food anywhere is bomb. I don't know when Sam has said at any restaurant where the food is not bomb. Because I'm not picky. And that, that is true. That is very true. I, I wouldn't consider myself picky, and I know that sounds kind of... Questionable. Questionable, I guess, is the right word. Um, but I know that sounds kind of um, full of myself, but I, don't, I, I wouldn't really consider myself picky. I mean... I eat everything that's put on the table at dinner time, you know, all that stuff. I mean, I, I wouldn't consider myself a picky person. Um, you just want like low level food. Like a Dairy Queen, they pretty much have hot dogs, pretzel sticks, or like chicken. And that's it. Don't they have burgers there? Or burgers. Burgers, chicken, hot dogs, pretzel sticks. The, ca- the casual fast food stuff. Yes, I mean, I know you'd like never have fast food because your mom's like a, a workout instructor and like a food fitness person, so it makes sense. But you would, I mean, it's it's good. No, yeah. no one says, ah, I'm not a big fan of, um, I mean, actually a lot of people don't like it, but it, fast food is good. If you don't have it too much, it's always good to get some calories in you, not just be a skinny bone. Yeah, that's, um. but here's the thing. Yes, I am very, I am so lucky and extremely grateful to have uh, two incredible chefs as my parents. Um, And I'm not trying to call anyone out on not um, eating good foods or um, having really nice home-cooked meals. There's nothing wrong with taking out with getting takeout every night. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, as long as you're still alive, that good job. Um, but I, I wouldn't say, I do like, like, here's the thing. Fast food, I'll eat it. Like, fast food is good. I mean, from the times that I've had it, like McDonald's or whatever, it's it's, it's actually um, not that bad. But <laughs> um, I don't have it as much because I we do not really have fast food in this house um but taco bell oh that stuff is kind of that stuff is gross taco bell is kind of gross honestly it maybe cold. it's just because that one time we got it he left it on the porch and correct it, it was cold it was mushy it was cold maybe it's because of that or um yeah well i know fast food can be good and it, and it is good but um we just don't really eat it as often. I mean, so you're, you, I mean, I, my dad was a huge cook for us before, you know, he broke his leg like twice, but my mom, she can make like a basic like eggs and she can do salmon too, I guess, but like with some, a little bit of help. I don't know. It's just, I feel like you haven't had as much experimenting with it, but anyway, I think we're, I think that was from the DQ thing. We, I was I'll stop by, I'll swing by at about 11, 30, 12, and we can just dip and go there. Yeah, that, uh, uh, I'll try to remember that. Well, I will remember it. I'll just have to check. So. Um, yeah, that'll be fun. And it's, I won't, like, get us lost. We don't have to go to the park. It was, like, my fault. It's straight down Grace. Like, if you, like, across West, yeah. It's just straight down Grace. So. Yeah. It'll be easy. So. Oh, you're still, we won't get stuck in the hood. Yeah, hopefully we don't. I mean, they got they got a new Blizzard of the Month. Like it's like the Girl Scout Mint Thins cookie. Uh, those have been there for quite a while. I think the new Blizzard is the um, the Reese's Extreme or the Drumstick Blizzard. Um, I can't remember which one it is because I think they're both relatively new. But the Girl Scout Thin Mint one has has been there for a while. Oh, well, but, well, it's good anyway. I mean, yeah, either way. 
I, I've hesitated to get the frosted animal cookie blizzard because I'm not sure how good it will be with ice cream, but I don't know. It could be pretty good, actually. I don't know, man. It's, it's great to have a nice, good hot dog and then that cold, gooey, ooey, booey blizzard. It's, it's, it's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I can say. I've never had the food there before, and by the looks of it, it doesn't look that bad. Um... I mean, it's, not, it's no home cooked meal, so you know, yeah. don't have high expectations. But it's it's good food. Yeah, I, I could I could totally see that. Uh, that's offensive. Never mind. Um. Anyway, so yeah, it's bring us bring us up a topic. What's this like? I, literally anything random. I'm gonna just like riff on it because that's what it's all about. <laughs> Okay, the Olympics. Go, yeah, sure. Um, so I was watching swimming, and actually, one of the women broke the two hundred meter breaststroke world record. She beat it by actually a decent, like I think, a second or two, which is really oh, good. Wow. Usually, it's beaten by some milliseconds, but a second. Yeah, I mean, she did great. I also was watching table tennis on the Olympics. Crazy, Ali. A twelve year old is doing table tennis in the Olympics. That ass. Interesting. It's cool. Uh, yeah. Um, really, the only thing that I've watched on the Olympics is the gymnastics because, I mean, that's just kind of the only thing that I've seen. Um, all the gymnastics, like women's division, men's division, whatever, stuff like that. Um, you know, kind of grown to sort of understand more like step out of balance. That's like minus or like on your dismount if you step back or if you step out of bounds. Um, with both feet, that's like minus three tenths of a point, and it's kind of it's hilarious. But one three tenths of a point doesn't sound like that much, but when when it comes to like gymnastics and all that other stuff, the difference between first place and second place was I just saw last night on the women's all round. The difference between first place and second place could be very well less than one-tenth of a point. So three-tenths of a point makes a big difference, whether Definitely. it's a penalty or just a deduction. And I have, I can literally give, like, physical evidence. I mean, not kind of, actually. I can show you, maybe. I did, if you didn't know, I did gymnastics for many years. I, I believe I started in kindergarten and ended somewhere around, like, second or third grade. The only reason I ended was they pushed us way too much. They were edging for four hours every day in the gym. And before, I was doing like three hours, five days a week, then three hours, six days a week. And I did not quit. I finished the season. They pushed the four hours, seven days a week thing on us, but I kept going and going until the season was done. Uh, I actually did rings. I was a rings master, and I got a perfect 10. And I got the rings all around best score at my competition for statewide. That's pretty good. You, that shows my practice and, and precision and determination will do. You saw my picture in my room, right, of me doing the the, yeah. the, the back lever with the with Coach David, like, like being all like, you know. Yeah, something like that for sure. I mean. Hey, old face, like, that was bad, do it again. Yeah, you know, he was kind of like, oh, anyway, you like The Simpsons, right? Yes. Sure, I'm a nation. F is for family. It's pretty much like The Simpsons, family, guy, American dad, etc. There's a family living, they got some weird things to them, the dad's like a drunk, the mom, like, worked it. Okay, never mind. Anyway, it's a good show. Uh, I've only seen the first two episodes and some of the third, but it's raunchy, and it's probably... It, it's, it's up there. It's really good. Hmm. Um... Yeah, read us the scripture sure. while you're at it. Yeah, I will. Set in the 1970s. This... Uh... Three children. Frank who works at an airport has a penchant for shouting and profanity-filled rants. This series celebrates all things 1970s, including the lifestyle, the music, and all sorts of other nostalgic details. I don't know. That seems good. Um, cast. 
No, it is. It's, oh, it's, it's that it's Vince Vaughn. Uh, he was in, wasn't he in Freaky? Correct. Uh, it's, yeah, it's great. It's the dad who's the drunk, the mom that works at home, no offense, but really the, the brother that's like a teenager that's like a terrible person, and then the two little, and then the brother and the sister that are like 10 or like a little more, a little less. It's, it's, um, it's good. It's, it's different. It's a little stereotypical to what mm. other things are like. And it really does go along with the lines of the 70s, and our parents can support that probably because they were born in the 70s. My dad was born in 66. Yeah. Oh, 66. He was born in the 60s. Okay. Then, yeah, my mom was 71 and my dad was 70. When was your mom born? Jackson. Uh, what? When, when was Look your mom born? Uh, my mom was born in, I think, 72. Oh, yeah. I, I was thinking you would be in the same half a decade range, but I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was actually right, yeah. 66 to 71 is five years. And then, yeah, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Positive messages, two. Positive role models and representations, two. Violence, two. Sex, two. Language, three. Consumerism, not present. Drinking, drugs, and smoking, two. How what? about a nuclear family? <laughs> what does it say on, like, what does it give the age rating, you know? Um, 14 plus. The Simpsons is 12 plus. Well, comments, well, that's actually maybe right. Common sense media is usually completely and utterly wrong. They give, like, one of the Scream movies a 17, I think Scream 3 is 17 plus, and then 1, 2, and 4 are 16. Common sense media is wild. They say that TikTok is, like, 16 plus. YouTube is 17. Well, it, frankly, TikTok, with some of the videos on there, it should be 16 plus. It says YouTube is 17 plus. <laughs> I mean, I get there's a wide range of stuff. It's like, oh, there's boy. easily prawn on YouTube, guaranteed. YouTube Kids. YouTube Kids? What is seven that? What is that? Plus. Seven Eight. Plus? Yeah, cool. I guess kids well, under seven cannot use it. Parents say 17 and up for F is for family, and kids say 15 and up. Yeah, it's crass, but it's, 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 I don't know, it's, it's you know, dark. One of the TV shows on, on, I don't know, whatever right now, um, what is it called? I think it's called The Great North. It's got, um, Nick Offerman. Uh, it's a pretty good show, actually. Um, it's on Fox. Uh, yeah, it's on Fox. It's got, uh, who is in it? it it's good. Um... It's, I think it might be um, animated by the same people that did Bob's Burgers. Ooh. Um, on a different note, Bob's Burgers is probably one of the best um, TV shows or animated TV shows out there. It's hilarious. Um, it's very good. I love the animation style and just the blank humor. And um, the parents say 11 and up. Kids say 11 and up. Age 13 and up. So... It's only thir- three stars? Wow, I'm kind of sad. Um, either way, I think you might like Bob's Burgers, Sam. I mean, it might not be your style, but maybe you should check it out. I've seen it. It's not my thing. It's, okay. it's okay. I mean, eh, eh, it's okay. It's all right. I would say three out of five is probably a good representation of it, which is like meh. It's a meh thing for me. I still think that Breaking Bad... Not even the fact that it's such a good show. Like, you can't willingly say that, like, The Simpsons or, like, Family Guy is, like, a, is, like some masterpiece. Because yeah, it, it's definitely not. It's definitely not. Like, um, or Bob's Burger, for that matter. It's not even opinionated. You can just, it's Breaking Bad as art. It is straight up art. The final episode made me cry. Not because it was sad, but because of how deep in it was. It was incredibly amazing. It's, it's like a painting that Miss Perlmutter would make, but a hundred times better, and a video. And would it, you agree with Common Sense Media's rating of 17 and up and 4 stars, morally ambitious, 
and morally ambiguous show is all about crime, iffy choices. Well, Common Sense Media, I don't swear. YouTube, come at me. Mom and Dad, come at me. Common Sense Media is complete ball hoggy shit. It really is. They fit, say it's all about crime. There are so much, so much aspects of love, dear choices, and well, of crazy course, things. They, they had to summarize the show in like two sentences. Yeah, but they're not giving a good run through about it. They're making it seem like it's some dr show just about shit of people d doing drugs, killing. That is what it's about, sure. But there's so many empathetic courses throughout. It is just it. Common sense me is a, a little high sometimes, more like all the time. Sam's yeah, like, but. this. Is, I feel like this is what Sam's thinking right now. He's like, what were those editors smoking when they wrote those reviews? Yes, seriously. I mean, it just it was it was mad wild. I, I mean, mean, I haven't really used Common Sense Media, and I haven't uh, really, so I haven't used it very much, and I can't really relate to you. But I do, I do know what you mean when you when your opinion on the book or movie has a completely different aspect than Common Sense Media or any other um, reviewing platform. Because sometimes there's a lot of people, and you're like, "What? That's completely clutter BS." <sighs> And the thing is, I think Big Mouth is probably up there to some of my favorite shows. I don't think it's a masterpiece. I really like it, but, I mean, it's not, it's art in a way, because it really, it's problematic in a great way. It proves everything that, like, about puberty. It gives things about periods, about hair, about acne. It's really, it's just great. And it's a hilarious take on the issues that we face today and in the past. So it's just, it's great. I mean, from everything I've seen from it, I think Jackson can support me on this. You can see a lot of yourself in some of the characters. Like, I can see myself definitely in Nick in some ways, and I can fully see myself in Andrew. Sometimes I can just be raucous and disgusting and at a pretty low point and... And then I can see myself in Nick, and it's great. And I think, Jackson, what do you think? What character do you think you fit most? I mean, of the small clips of Big Mouth I've seen, uh, I don't know. I mean, I could say... Andrew, maybe? Okay. I mean, which one is more like, which one, which character is more like Loki? I would say Nick. I think you're more like Nick, because I, I don't, I feel like you, uh, we can, it's a, there's too much iffy stuff to say, and too much stuff to cut out. We can chat for a little bit after this podcast ends, but I think you're more or less like Nick, in a way. You definitely have Andrew aspects, physically, question mark. But, um, yeah. The height, yeah. See, even that was like, like, I'm pushing it with my luck here. Yeah. So, we can talk more. Um, if you want to wrap it up, we can. We can talk for a little bit and then just go on our merry ways and go for lunch in like two hours. Or three. We can wrap it up, I guess, if you want. Um, okay. Do you want to say anything else? Uh, no. Okay, then. Um, I think we really put our heart and soul into it. I thought it was a great episode. Episode 24, give some claps. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Wasn't it supposed to be a quiet episode? Oh, damn it. My fault. Anyway, make sure to subscribe, like, turn on post notifications. I'm your co-host, Sam Weiss, signing off, putting the click on the telephone. And this is... Jackson Harmon. And we are ending in 3, 2, 1... Bye.